Over on. here is what I call sh Exhibit A. This is where I got my clothes and crap. Today we're once again gonna take a look back at the show we all watched back in the day and said, Oh, that's nice. So happy for you and all that you have. And that show is MTV Cribs. Don't mistake that for MTV's Cribs like I did. The fool I am, I suppose. We all know this show. It's probably more culturally iconic than Pimp My Ride or any of the other MTV shows of its time. But if you don't know, basically MTV takes us on a ride through the homes of our favorite celebrities to see how the other half lives. Well, most of the time. Today we're gonna be, we're gonna see some examples that will flip that concept on its head. <laughs> so without further ado, let's take another look at Cribs. More specifically, Red Man's Crib. Chris, this is Red Man, we're coming to y'all live. I love how he didn't even do the typical answering of the door. It's like they called him 15 minutes before arriving, like, Hey, uh, we're almost there, so uh, we'll see you shortly, okay? <sighs> Fuck. Alright, um, okay, that's cool. I just... The doors are unlocked, just let yourselves in. Uh, wake me up when you get here. Chris, this is Red Man, we're coming to y'all live. Should I give y'all the tour right now? Uh, yeah, we'd, we'd really appreciate that. We flew three hours to do this. Let's go. Over here is what I call Exhibit A. This is where I got my clothes and crap. Got my ironing board right here. You know, we iron on the floor in here. You know, it's easy to iron and watch TV at the same time. You know what, I, I guess I never really weighed the benefits of ironing my clothes on the dirty carpet for for some reason, but he brings up some valid points, I think. This is the bedroom, so you know, a lot of entertainment. I like to get right in in here, watching a lot of DVD movies and stuff, the nasty movies, the freaks, you know. This is for the freaks right here. This man, this man is a, a bold man. I have never seen anyone get a DVD case for their porn. Like, it is all out there, no shame. It's what I got, you know, the walk-in closet, you know, you know, hangers. You know, crap, don't even worry about that. Notice how big and sexy it is. See, I step in and I step out. I walk in and I walk out. You know, I make a lot of jokes about the double take and the instant replay, but now I'm starting to realize the genius of it. If they just don't have enough time to fill the episode, just do a few of these takes and then just replay the Cribs music and you're all set. As long as I got my video games. You know they had to zoom in on the lotion too because of course he's got that out in the open too. <laughs> Over here, we got the De La Casa bathroom. This consists of a shower, you know, little Noxzema and, um, you know, herbal essence, body wash ingredients. So far this place is so fucking divorce uncle coded, it's insane and I love it. You know what it actually looks like? The aftermath of John from To Catch a Thief. Let's go to the music area. Yo, and this room right here is what I like to call the De La Casa studio. You know, for how messy his house has been so far, his home setup still beats Soldier Boy's 12-year-old Minecraft YouTube Let's Play setup, so I'll at least give him props for that. Now, we're gonna journey downstairs and show y'all the rest of my beauty that I got prepared. You see how the walls and the lights and stuff is all going around? This is really handcrafted myself and me and my boys, you know, painting and stuff like this. It was real sh** in here before that. Okay, you know what? He's right. It really was shitty in there before, but now, now it's, well, it's still shitty, but it's, it's, it's different. The vibe I'm looking for... Wait, hold on. Is that... Is that a guy? <laughs> These movies right here are just, you know, what I like to watch right here. This is like my movie collection, the CD collection. Okay, this movie collection is a lot more, a lot more subtle than the upstairs one, I'll say. And I thought this was a basement, but I guess it's just the living room. I don't know. I can't tell. I guess if it were a basement, it would have one of those engine block of a TV sitting on the floor. <laughs> I am loving this crib so far. It is just some fucking place. It's just a duplex with some stuff in it some stuff and a guy, a guy also, to be more specific. Oh yeah, that's my cousin right there. He, you know, he, he be knocked out over here, you know, chilling in the cut, 
that's Sugar Bear right there. Don't worry about him. He don't even hear y'all. Y'all not like he even here. Like, imagine trying to spit some game and brag about how you were on an MTV show with a girl and they're like, oh, what show? Oh, uh, Cribs. <laughs> oh, really? That's awesome. And it's just this. Oh, in this left wing of the crib, we got exhibit like E. Man, this place sure is nice. <laughs> well, almost as nice as Fume, the sponsor of today's video. Guys, let's get real for a second here, okay? Quitting a habit cold turkey isn't easy, and I think we all know that. That's where Fume comes in to approach that problem differently. See, Fume is aiming to change the way you think about breaking habits with their innovative and award-winning flavored air device. What's great about Fume is it doesn't use vapor or electronics. It's completely natural because it uses flavored air without any harmful chemicals, because if not, then what is even the point? Your fume comes with an adjustable airflow dial, and as an added bonus, it's designed with movable parts and magnets for fidgeting, which can be very helpful for de-stressing while breaking your habit. They have a variety of flavors, so whether you're looking for something fruity, like something from their citrus bundle, or something fresh like their crisp mint, fume has a flavor for you. Guys, stopping is something we all put off. It's hard. But switching to Fume is easy, enjoyable, and even fun, and Fume has served over 150,000 customers so far. That's at least more than 100,000. I did the math. I didn't show my work this time. I did it in my head. So if you guys want to finally break that habit in a much more enjoyable and bearable way, head on over to tryfume.com slash chrisjames or scan the QR code and use code chrisjames to get 10% off when you get the journey pack today. You can also upgrade your journey pack to the new Solano pack with a premium walnut barrel and onyx black coated mouthpiece and still enjoy 10% off. That's tryfum.com slash chrisjames to get 10% off. Thank you to Fume for sponsoring and now back to the video. Over here is where I keep like, you know, stuff I don't use. Like, you know, in my, you know how you got a shoebox of shit in your house? Well, I keep that in the kitchen. I think your house is just a shoebox full of shit at this point. <laughs> this is what I call the dollar box. If I need some money, I just run to the dollar box and go get me some bread or some juice, what I need. You know, it comes in handy. You should keep one in the house. Well, if you're ever looking to rob Redman, you know exactly where the dollar box is. So I guess if you need $36, you know exactly where that's at. These things right here, I recommend. If you live alone and you like fish, this takes five minutes, three minutes to cook on the George Foreman grill. Mm. And his fridge is like Soldier Boy's fridge, how it will evolve in the next 10 years. Now when they show every room in the house in a quick five second montage, it really puts into perspective just how goddamn awful the place looks. It's perfect. I'd like to thank y'all for coming out to Rez De La Casa. Hope y'all seen and enjoyed yourself. Next time y'all need to find me, you know, just rub these two wires for the doorbell. I know it don't work. You ain't gotta knock. It works. Don't worry about the screen, too. I, you know, it's still good. You know, this is what I like to do, man. I see y'all next time. Peace. God damn, Redman. Just take a fucking Sunday. Grab a handful from your dollar box. Go to the Home Depot and fix this shit. It'll just, it'll take literally one Sunday to get all this knocked out. So far, so good. I think we've had a strong start, and I think the only place we can go is up. Literally, I mean, I, the, I think at this point after Redman's place, the only place we can go is up. More specifically, Bow Wow's crib, and it really is a step up. It's actually one of the nicest cribs we've seen thus far, and I'm pretty sure he was still a teenager here, so probably an episode of Teen Cribs, if that matters to you. Yo, what up, man? It's your boy Bow Wow. Welcoming y'all to my crib, you know what I mean? Check it out, man. Before I bring y'all inside, I'm gonna show y'all my whips first, all right? This is the Bumblebee right here. My Ferrari 360 motor. Y'all be pronouncing them Medinas because y'all probably don't got one of these bad boys. I, I guess I, I guess I don't. I'm, I'm so sorry. My boy Dion right here. He lived with us. And my best friend to hold me down since day one. And his SL sitting on long hearts, looking real sick. Drop the top one one time, D. Hey, uh, Bow Wow. I was wondering if maybe I could uh, get a ride to work. If I, 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 it, over here, get in there and drop the top off, okay? Come on, drop the top off. Okay. Voila. We're gonna holler at Dion in a minute. Okay. So right now, we're gonna curve off this way, and I'm gonna take y'all to the main entrance. Hey, so do you think maybe now you could give me that ride to work? I I, I really need this job. I mean, I could I could take one of these. I mean, you, you have so many cars. All right, guys, now it's time to check out the main entrance. God damn it. Now we in the inside. It's my dog Precious right here. $100, she's just gonna lay down. 
Okay, this double take, this one I approve of. Hell, I'd even take a third shot of this cute dog lying down. We gonna make our way over here into the living room. An area where I don't spend that much time. My mother is like so crazy. We can't even walk on the carpet because the carpet is like some type of fur carpet. I was gonna say, you can tell his mother decorated this place. It, it looks like it. Soldier Boy's on the other hand, he did that shit. There is no doubt about that. Where everything goes down. I know I watch cribs. I be seeing the fr refrigerators and everything. But when y'all see mine, you know, just bear with me, all right? Lots and lots of Gatorade. That's like my favorite drink. Turkey sausage, that's all I eat. I don't eat pork, I don't eat beef. This right here is my area, the freezer. God damn, that man's piss has gotta be straight motor oil. <laughs> we upstairs right now, about to take y'all to the prince's throne, which is my room. Ladies, this is what y'all been waiting for. Yes, ladies, that is my bed, okay? And you know it's official. I mean, just look at the wall, man. Bow wow, man. Now, he may not have decorated his living space, but his bedroom... Yeah, he had a heavy hand in that one. He's got the airbrush t-shirt place in the mall that puts dead partner's names on a t-shirt special with those walls. I didn't want to hang pictures in my room, so I hired an uh, artist to come with airbrush. I was close. All jerseys. I got a mink. And you know what's funny? I got this two Christmases ago, and I still haven't worn. Ah, oh, sick man. That's so cool that you've uh, that you've never worn that. Uh, way to flex. Flex on me, huh? <laughs> oh man, I wish I could just buy a house. So right now you're entering the game room. This is where all the boys come. It's my man Lou Will right here, Louis Williams. B don't want to see me on the basketball court. You know my jump shot's crazy. Bow Wow, God damn it! you better take a page out of Lil John's book and put your money where your mouth is because at least Lil John has the balls to go out on that tennis court and show us firsthand that he is not good at any of the sports he owns courts for with no shame. Of course, you know, every house ain't right without a pool. Oh boy, do I know that. <laughs> oh, fuck. We got the jacuzzi right here, the little waterfall. Dion gonna show y'all the bubbles. When the ladies come over, we come out here, we chill, man. We relax. Yeah, man, I got the bubbles turned on now. Uh, do you think, uh, do you think maybe now I could, I can get that ride? I'm already, I'm already pretty fucking late. And just look at the golf course, you know what I'm saying? Holla back. You know what? I feel like this one's felt the most like a Cribs episode yet. I mean, of course the other ones do as well, but this one feels a little bit more true to the, the essence of a Cribs episode. If that makes sense. I don't think it does. Y'all done seen my whips, y'all done seen my clothes, my sneakers, the crib, y'all done seen everything. So I think it's about that time, you know what I mean, for, for y'all to, to say goodbye, but you know what I mean, huh? Hey, dang, Dion, look at that girl right there, dog. Look at that girl, dang. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking asshole, I'm never gonna fucking me get so fucking fired. Out of here, man, we gone. It's a wrap. We signing off. <laughs> get out of here, man. Bow Wow and his fucking friends just Throw the cameraman in the pool too. <laughs> so that was Bow Wow, and while it was a fun one, I think we're gonna have a lot more fun with the next crib, T Pain's. A beautiful day in the neighbor of the hood. MTV Cribs, showing boy T Pain. First things first, I love how this big old mansion is just protected by ADT. Like that's it. This is what I call the LeBron James Guinea. T-shirt and jeans edition. Got the T-shirt on the outside, jeans on the inside. Thank fucking God. I thought when he said t-shirt and jeans, we were about to have not an interior, but a ginterior, and it's gonna be made out of denim. I was about to throw up. Now, if you wanna wake up the baby, you call the big baby. Ford F650 right here. God damn, I didn't even know they went that high. At, at that point, you just, you should require a CDL to drive it because what the fuck? Now, something you would not expect from T-Pain right now is a 2008 Scion XB. For good reason, what a god-awful, ugly car. I'm sorry if you have a Scion XB or a Nissan Cube or anything of the sorts, I am sorry. I'm sorry. This is the uh, grandma I got for good life, you know what I'm saying, Kanye, appreciate it. 
make sure everybody see that. <laughs> Especially all the haters. I'm not a hater, even though it does sound like I'm kind of fucking hating right now. Really though, I'm not hating. I like T-Pain a lot. He's really funny. I'm making it sound like I know him personally. I don't know him personally, but I do see him stream a lot and he's funny as fuck. Also, regardless of T-Pain, I'm not hating on anyone in this show. It's all good fun. We're just laughing at the absurdity of the show. Pretty much every show I cover on this channel, that's the case. It's big time cooking in here right now. And I got a whole team, baby. You don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> Sub-Zero dog. Cold as ice. I'm just be honest, we just did this like 10 minutes ago. Okay, so to my disappointment, nothing to poke fun at in this fridge. But to be fair, of course it's a nicely maintained and clean fridge. He has a team working on it. Not like Red Man, who's holding his life together with a box of fish sticks. Everything goes down in here. 60 inch TV right here. Same one I got in my living room. Look at the bed, shouty. You know, I wonder if his wife is with him for this one to make sure that we know he is not responsible at all for the decorating of this bedroom. <laughs> now I want to show you something that I had to have in this house. We got a blank bookshelf right here, but it's also the way to get downstairs. Okay, that's... It's pretty fucking cool. I wonder at what point the novelty of a secret doorway wears off. Like, at what point do you get kind of annoyed at having to tug open a bookshelf every time you want to go into a room? Like, man, I just I wish I had a I wish I had a fucking doorknob now. This is one of my three studios. We got studio A, B, and C. Got everything you need, man. Got the brand new D-Link, 32 channel, 30 inch screen right here. Okay, I stand corrected. I was giving Redman props for blowing Soldier Boy out of the water with his 12-year-old Minecraft YouTube setup, but I don't know much about audio engineering. I don't know anything about audio engineering. I use Audacity, but this looks, this looks much better, I think. So after all the work is done, we can go to where all this noise is coming from. This is Club Nappy Boy right here. As you can see, this is where we chill at. My wife got me this as a surprise for the house renovation. A fiber optic stripper pole. So does your wife, like, let you guys have dancers down there, or does she use it, or do just you and your guys use it? I have so many questions. But I don't like walking upstairs, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let y'all walk, and I'm gonna take my elevator. I mean, I, I could. I, there's, there's room in there. It's, it's just me. I could just uh, take the stairs. I'm about to take you to the best game room that you've ever seen on Cribs. Okay, he's he's not wrong. That one blows Bow Wow's out of the fucking water. And I thought Bow Wow had the best one yet. And even better than Chris Angel's and the one that he has in his hotel room that I think he just uses by himself. T-Pain really is giving us the best episode of Cribs yet. Maybe not an easy one to make fun of all that much, unfortunately, but arguably the best. This is way more than I've seen in anybody's game room on Cribs. Okay, did T-Pain just watch the entire Cribs discography before leading up to this episode, like to make sure that he knows he has the best of everything. Like, okay, look, I don't want to look like a fool making all these claims and accusations on cable TV just to not have the best shit. I want to make sure I know I have the best shit. And I do. Outside is the best side. All this at night light up, everything change colors. <sighs> okay, fine. Pretty sick fucking pool too. You're way too far in my business right now. So we gots to go. Y'all seen my crib. You're gonna see about six, seven more of them. Understand that. You invited us. You said you had the best, and I quote, the best shit. Well guys, that was once again MTV Cribs. I wanted to find some more, but honestly, I wasn't liking the selection that's on Paramount Plus. Also, I don't like using Paramount Plus. It is not a good service to use. And also a lot of what you guys suggested, I just couldn't find because it either isn't on Paramount Plus or isn't on YouTube, which means 
It's just gone forever. Don't you love streaming? But anyways, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, consider leaving a like rating down below, comment, share with your friends, it all helps me out a ton. And if you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification to stay up to date with all of my uploads. And once again, thank you to Fume for sponsoring. Don't forget to check out the link in my description below for 10% off. Thank you guys again for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.